All right, everybody, and welcome back to another arc. We're here on the new map, doing the thing, and getting ready to start actually building up a structure. That way we can start housing some tech, maybe hatch some eggs, and uh, with the addition of a Argentavis, we might just be getting ourselves a wyvern eventually. So we need to get all that stuff set up and and uh, let's get started so slight change of plan I think instead of building the base here because of the lack of trees and ease of access with all the alphas we're actually gonna do a bit of exploration maybe we could find another place that would have easy access to water trees metal stone and give us a nice marina so let's do that um we haven't fully explored this map so we're gonna clear that out real quick maybe we'll find some xp bubbles on the way too i like the shooting stars So what are we looking at here? Um, over there, kind of has a Ragnarok feel to it. Um, what do we have out there? Oof, that looks like extinction over there. Very sulfury. I guess that's the closest thing to a desert we're gonna get. And then, of course you have your volcano. It's the red obelisk. That would be the hardest island. Um, and then we have the larger continent here. Let's see if we can find something along the shore here. Heading back towards where our original base is. And uh, see what we can find. What is this structure here? The whole island looks metal. Looks like it's made out of one giant piece of gold or metal. This would be a fairly safe place to build. This one was specifically made to be a base, I guarantee it. Because you have this here, bridge, being the only access point. There's an XP boost, we'll get that in a moment. Um, but no access to water. Uh... You would have to run irrigation pipes. There's metal right here. Um, but there's no marina where we could have water creatures. And no, uh, no close by water sources. We'd end up way over there. This place is uh, an option, not one that I'm considering anytime soon, though. What is that? Not going in there. We're not ready for caves yet. Soon. Soon. But not yet. Stopped to chase a horse for some fur and spotted this. Man. Very pretty lake here with some layered waterfalls. Um, again, no immediate access to metal. Oh, what is this? There's a house here. With a blue jumpy gator, which is scary. Um, that's very pretty, though. Look at that. Ooh, there's another thing there. Kangaroo statue! No? Of course. The blessing that blesses us all. Alright. Boom! 
love this waterfall though. Really cool. Could build something over there. Ah, there is metal up here though. Look at all this. There's a nifty bridge here with some more XP. Alpha Rex down there. We're not too worried about him. This is a very pretty area. I really like it. It's not too far away from the center of the map. Where would we build our house, though? These are the questions. Well, we don't want to block the water spawn. Or the metal respawn point. We could build over here. This is flat. It's got a heck of a view. Plenty of trees. And it's super defensible because we could block off the access points, have plenty of room to build. And Worst case scenario, we lead a couple of the creatures off a cliff. Oh, what is this? Oh, there's a garden down there. Potatoes, carrots, uh, there's all of them here. Plus there's all these barrels and stuff. Yeah, we should build our base here. Yeah. That is a huge benefit. Um, at any rate, let's make use of this XP that we just picked up. And they despawn. Hold on, what is that? What? I did not think they were on this map. That's a 130. That egg might be good. We could get ourselves a Dionychus? That would be awesome. Grab a hold, buddy. Um, don't see any more in the area. One thirty five. That's not bad. We will keep that. Yeah, buddy. Oh, there's more. Now you like this egg. A one fifty. Hell yeah. And look what I just spotted. Look at that. That is beautiful. We could. So this this is the area I was planning on making the base anyway. This specific one, because there's a lot of space. But 
I was expecting to have to run the water over to this waterfall. And now, we don't have to do that. That T-Rex from earlier is only 15. We should try to kill that before our XP boost runs out. The Raptor is 85, however. But I think we can take this T-Rex. Alright, so what did we get? Ooh, a new axe. I'll take it. T-Rex head. More rune stones. Um, I'm up to nine levels. Argentavis. Gaunt. Five more levels. It's probably getting close to max at this point. Alright, let's see if we can't have fun with this Alpha Raptor too. Don't run. Why are you running? What's wrong? You scared? Don't be scared. Got him. Before we head over there and make that our new base, we're going to need cryopods. Crystal is easy to get. Fiber and hide, easy. Oil, we have. Uh, metal, we have plenty. And then polymers, there's actually penguins nearby our base. So, we is going to make that. Alright, so we have the fiber, the hide, the metal oil only thing we're needing is crystal and polymer and we can grab those on the way well it looks like we have plenty of organic polymer Grab some crystal on the way to the obelisk. Bam. We can make ten. Let's do it. Well, we've managed to make ourselves 10 cryopods. That should be plenty. Oh, and level 95, just saying. And there's one more thing I was wanting to make. All right, we have a full set of ghillie. Now, because I knocked out an Andrew and we couldn't access it, that tells me that it's going to be a passive team. What we need for it, I don't know. I'm assuming it's meat. We're going to put some of this cooked prime meat in our inventory and uh, see if we have any luck. Let's see if it'll let me sneak up. Ah. 
Okay, that didn't work. We're gonna go ahead and try one more time, just in case I did something wrong. Alright, we're gonna try this again. I don't know what level this one is, but... I want to try to tame one, and we gotta learn, so... Mm, don't look at me, bud. Just turn around. Well, it's not giving me any prompts. Knocking it out doesn't seem to work. I'm not sure what kind of mechanic is at play here. Um, so we'll try a couple other things later on. And if we don't figure anything out, then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Well, despite that not working out, we did learn something new. So now, let's move on. Alright, so, in order to move bases, we're going to want to make all these crafting benches, beds, fires, all that stuff again. And we're going to leave all this stuff here. That way, in case we need to come back uh, for any reason, or make a taming cage out of this place, we can do so. For the time being... Let's get to crafting. All right, I want to put my animals away as well. So, we'll pick you up. We could technically carry some of these. Um, if we don't have to, we won't, though. Now, the good thing about the Lapisaurs, if you use the Argentavis C attack, I'm not sure what that attack would be equivalent to on controller, unfortunately. Uh, it will hold the Dillo in its mouth, and you, whenever you land, it won't even set it down. It's a good deal. Alright, we got all of our animals cryoed up. You know what? Let's go get some more Argentavis real quick. This would be nice, easy tames. What do you think? Look out, we're in a high-speed chase. Not really. It's pretty... Pretty slow speed chase right here. Ow. Hmm. I feel like we've done this before. The same result, too. You sitting there all angry. Me pumping you full of tranks. You know. Hey, another one down. Prime me. Son of a bitch. Let's see how you like it. Getting slowly chewed on, huh? Does it feel good? You like it? Huh? They're doing it for you? Getting nipped at while you're asleep, you jerk. Yeah. That's what I thought. Sorry, buddy. He messed up your team. Ugh. Now instead of having a 200-something, we have a... Uh, bleh. Whatever. Use just extra carrying capacity, my friend. Oh, no. That's not good.
we're, we're never, never mind. We're fine. <laughs> uh, but we're not taming those. Not at all. Ooh, found another one. Sweet. Alright, we're gonna try for our double. Come on. I know you guys can kill me. I have faith in you. Do it! Kill me! Bam! Check that out. Double trap. Oh, one down. Two down. All right. We got any prime meat left? We do. A little bit of prime meat in there. A little bit of prime meat in there. And now we play the waiting game. And our caravan is underway. Ah, oh, finally making it. First things first, we'll remove any threats. And then, uh, yeah, get to work. Well, no immediate threats. Let's get started. All right, let's put out one of these and figure out how far it extends. Now, the good thing about the S Plus is we can show the range. And that should cover the entire island, or entire structure that we're going to be building from, at the very least. It looks like the very tip over here isn't going to get touched in the very tip of that, but I think it's as centered as it's going to be. Alright, and then I'm just going to put these two here. It's just going to be a temporary location. We're going to put the real main structure over there, but this will allow us to start putting things like this down on the ground. figure out where to drop off our roly-poly friend to collect rocks for us. It'd be very unlikely that you end up anywhere but here. But if you do, good job proving me wrong. Alright, plenty of stone for a little bit. I wish we had an easier way to get wood. We can get thatch. Wood, on the other hand, I have to chop by hand. Arg. All right, we got like forty platforms. We need to cut this place off so things like this don't keep getting up here. Um, technically, iguanodon safe, but uh, who knows what else could spawn down there? And we can't have that now, can we? Bam. Here we go. Alright, let's finish this side up.
All right, everybody, and that's going to do it for us here today. As you can see, we made a good bit of progress. We got our crafting area set up, and we managed to get both sides blocked off for the most part. There still needs a little bit of work to make sure that we're nice and secure. All in all, we're making a lot of progress here. I think next time we're going to go ahead and start building the main structure, see about getting a greenhouse going, and then go from there. I'd like to tame a few things too, so hopefully you'll swing by and we can get uh, some more fun in. Until then, and before you go, make sure that you get in on those giveaways, as well as checking out the Twitter and the Twitch, as we're having a lot of fun out there. And there's always more giveaways to be had. But until next time, take care of yourself, take care of your loved ones, stay healthy out there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.